Hey everybody, it's Harry from Slapper Daddy Barbecue, the YouTube channel that teaches you how to master barbecue so you can spread barbecue love. I was at the uh, Japanese uh, store where I bought the Kobe beef for my uh, prior episode and I came across something interesting. They sell a plate-sized rib and this is a uh, Berkshire breed. You've got a whole one rib right here and uh, they have all of the belly as well as the spare rib and the baby back portion all intact. So here's kind of like the spare rib portion, here's the belly portion here, and here's the baby back portion. So I've never cooked a rib with all three pieces of the meat intact on one continuous whole section of the hog. So in this episode, we're gonna cook you guys up a Berkshire Heritage plate sized rib episode. Always uh, throw away the uh, perch, never wash your meat in the sink. I fired the kettle and uh, it's about 300 degrees now. It's pretty hot. We set up a uh, two little wings on the side and we have a little pan in the middle. I cooked uh, some uh, pork earlier, so we're gonna put this thing right in the middle. Put it back on the cover. Make sure that the vent is sitting right in the middle of the two vents so that it can smoke and get some flavor onto our whole Kurobota rib. Let's take a look, give it a spray. It's beautiful. It's taken about one hour to crust up so that it's ready for the next phase. We're gonna go wrap it in foil, put some uh, product like uh, Butter spray, a little bit of brown sugar, and a little bit of honey. Your honey. Add a little bit of liquid and add some sauce. Put it in a 275 degree oven because uh, BTU is BTU is BTU. So it does, meat, the meat doesn't care whether it's sitting in the oven or sitting in the pit. But if you want to put it in a pit, by all means, go ahead. It's taken about three hours to get the uh, whole rib nice and tender. Check it for tenderness here. Nice and soft. It's ready. Looks absolutely gorgeous. Super sized rib here. Taste of the Korobota pork chop. The spare rib is right here. Let me see if I can get a piece off here. Pat the belly first. That's the spare rib and that's the baby back. We've got the pork chop here, baby back rib right here, the spare rib here, and the pork belly here. So we're gonna cut it up and then give it a taste test, see how it goes. But here's the best part to get to taste uh, this Korobuta whole rib plate size snack or appetizer. This is gonna be my blind, my brain is racing on the which part to try first. So let me uh, let me start with the, the white meat here, the pork chop, which is this one here. And the pork chop has two pieces, right? One the eye and then the, uh, the eye, followed by the spinalis, the, the rib cap of the pork chop. Give it a shot. I'll just tell you. Flavor of the pork is good, but pork chop should not be cooked like a piece of barbecue because um, the meat is really, really dry. So not, not so good. I mean, the rib, the rib cap of the pork chop here, I cap, much better, much tastier, very tender and moist. So the pork chop fail, the rib cap, a pass. Let's try and eat the baby back rib here which is near the top of the rib cage right here. Right, this part here. Very good. Super moist, tender, juicy, succulent, loin back rib. 
got a beautiful natural flavor of the pork. Let's move on to the uh, rib, the spare rib, which is the one right where the bone is on this edge here, kind of like where your chest is in front of the sternum here. Take a piece here. Really delicious spare rib. Uh, kind of a run for the flavor of also the loin back. So the baby back rib is near the spine. The uh, the baby back rib is, is kind of here, like so. And then the spare rib is kind of like towards the front here. And uh, both are really, really good eating. Let's move on to the actual belly itself, the underside here, which is where the bacon comes from, which is this piece here. Ooh, that looks really good, look at that. Super moist and super tender. Absolutely gorgeous here. I wish you could be here tasting this. Super moist, tender, flavorful pork. Uh, that uh, glaze with the brown sugar, the honey, a little bit of a butter spray. Absolutely, absolutely amazing. Show you how pretty this looks here. Look at that. That is a little morsel of pork heaven right here. It's so good, I'm gonna have another bite here. Fantastic Berkshire pork. So, my first time ever cooking a whole slab of the hog, the entire bone like so. All right, you see, see here, like that. Having a chance to eat the loin, loin cap, baby back rib on the top, spare it, and the belly. So that's about like five muscles here. Uh, so just to recap, the uh, pork chop failure. Don't cook your pork chop this way. Just brine and grill your pork chop. So even though it's Berkshire pork chop, it, it's still too dry when you cook it the barbecue method. So don't, don't cook it low and slow. The rib cap, okay. Spare rib, baby back, excellent. Pork belly, out of this world. So that's my conclusion. So enough of me talking. Let's see if Mr. Beans wants to try these five different muscles. Let us know what he thinks. I made a plate for Mr. Beans and uh, it's got all the four muscles here. So let's give it a shot and see which one he likes. All right, Beans. I've got four kinds of Korobota pork for you. We've got the uh, pork chop, the spare rib, and the loin back, and the pork pig belly. So give it a go. Okay, go. Okay, he's wolfing down the pork pig belly, eating the pork chop next, being the taste. He's moving on to the loin back. And last one he's enjoying is the Kurobota spare rib. Excellent. I think he likes it. You like it, Beans? Good job. Thanks for joining me for the Kurobota whole rib special today. I had really a lot of fun cooking it, tasting the four muscles. Again, I validated that a Korobota pork is actually great. Absolutely superb eating. It's really super pork flavor, tender, moist, and flavorful. And uh, what I'm gonna do as a bonus roll, or I'm gonna do it on a short clip, is I also had a chance to cook some Mangalista pork today. Also some Iberico Spanish pork. So uh, we're gonna put it in another clip here, another video where I do the three-way throwdown between the Korobota the Iberico, as well as the uh, Mangalista pork. And uh, you can check it out, see which one I like among all these three cuts. The Kurobota is fantastic eating. If you ever have a chance to try a whole rib, plate size, please do so. Until the next video, we will see ya.